It's moments like this that makes me so freaking happy. And you might say, really, this is where you get happiness? I do. Because if you know anything about this channel, you know I absolutely love the foldable phone industry. I love the foldable phone industry, how much it's being pushed forward through different companies releasing foldable phones, and the technology is getting better, better for the consumer, better overall for everyone, right? And to see this, it's actually kind of surprised me. But with that being said, it's also not surprising at all. So the porcelain model of the Google Pixel Fold was actually the top selling model so far. Going as far as selling out completely with the 256 gigabyte model right away. I mean, this was released, what, announced a month ago? And it already was sold out within weeks of it being posted. Then, of course, it did go ahead and come back in stock, but will not be delivered until August 10th. Uh, August 2nd to August 10th. And to be honest, could be pushed back even farther because by the time I record this video, there might be more people trying to buy this phone. We already heard rumors that the 512GB version was selling out like hotcakes. And again, that a lot of the reason why there was because people realized for $100 more, you can get double the storage. So it's always worth it to go. You're going to spend that much money with the double the storage option of 512. But again, like I said, I just love seeing this so much because it's just pushing the industry forward. But what's interesting about all this, right? Is Google taking the big fat W yet again? And this is a W, you know, you might not look at or talk about too much, but it's the ability to get stock back on your website, keep supplying units, and then being able to, you know, keep the, oh, have enough for the demand, right? Now, obviously, yes, it's being pushed back a tad bit because of, you know, over people, way too many people pre ordering this device at once. But they at least have the ability to replenish your websites in a, within a week and get more stock there. And I got to give, you know, for the most part, Microsoft did a good job with the Surface Duo 2 uh, when it first released. It was actually sold out right away. Like, Obsidian models were all sold out. The Glacier models uh, were sold out for the most part, except for the uh, 512 gigabyte version. And then after a couple hours, it refreshed and they became available again. I think it sold out quickly after that again too because, again, everyone was excited about the Surface Zero 2. But the ability to keep on having enough inventory to meet the demand because, in all honesty, Google knew going into this they were going to have a huge demand for this product, right? Everyone wants to pick up a Google Pixel Fold. It's the first time we're seeing true competition against Samsung, against a monopoly in this industry. So, absolute W. I, I'm still surprised that the porcelain model was, you know, the top selling model, the top pre-ordered model. Nothing wrong with the porcelain model by any stretch of the imagination. I just didn't expect it to be the porcelain model. I would really think the Obsidian model would be the most expensive. Is it kind of what we see with the Surface Duo lineup? So I kind of expected to see a similar thing with this uh, this lineup too. But again, it is what it is. Not surprising that EA Sports, I mean, not EA Sports, I, that Google actually continues to impressed me in a lot of different ways. I bought up EA Sports randomly for no reason. I don't know why they were my brain. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.